So hey guys, welcome to the new video. Today in this video, we are going to see that how can you uh, build a COVID-19 tracker using your Streamlit and Pandas module in Python. We will uh, use plotly to visualize the data. Okay, so what we have to do now is we have to firstly move in our VS Code. And then you have to open your required terminal. Just go here and new terminal and type some command. Some packages which you which you will need here. Pip install streamlit and pandas. Plot ly also. Just a second guys. Uh, there is some error in the name. Okay. So this is the name. Since I have already installed these modules, so it is showing requirement already satisfied. Now what you have to do is you have to go here and create your file. I will be naming it as app.py. Let's close this terminal. Okay. Now what you have to do is you have to import those modules. Import those modules which you have just downloaded. Import streamlit as st as st import pandas as pd and then import request module request and import plot ly dot express spx okay so these are the required modules now we have to set the page configuration for streamlet so st dot set page yeah this is the one covid19 dashboard covid19 dashboard okay so this is the page title for streamlet and this is the page layout so now what you have to do is you have to load the data for that what will be done is yeah this one uh, we have some cache data and we have to load the data now def load that's it okay now we have to create a function inside this which will return some data return pd dot data frame yeah this one okay request dot get and then a url in json format okay so the url is which we will be using in this word, uh, particular video is let me show you just remove this one firstly disease this is dot sh slash v3 slash covid19 slash countries covid19 slash countries Okay, so this is the URL. And now what we have to do is we have to just load this one data equals to load. We have to call this function in data frame. This is the data frame. Now what we have to do is we have to set the sidebar st dot sidebar sidebar title will be covid 19 dashboard. And we can also set header st dot sidebar and then we have to create a markdown file here sidebar dot markdown yeah this is the one select countries to visualize select country okay this is enough now what we have to do is now we have to set a country variable yeah this is the one st dot sidebar okay so country variable equals this is the one and this can be or cannot be unique so we will remove this one just save and then what you have to do is what this actually doing is this will uh, help you select the uh, country from your sidebar and this is the list of countries from your data variable. 
okay now what we have to do is we have to uh, get the scene data that is country data 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 of country equals country and dialog of zero yeah now what you have to do is you have to uh, get the uh, you can say metric st dot metric these were the total cases total death total recovered okay now what we have to do is since our matrix is set now we have to prepare the chart for this figure equals px dot scatter we will plot a scatter plot a scatter and then x will be cases y will be death and size will be population and color of the continent will be according to you so so this is the title for that uh, plot and this is the hover name country let's save this one now what you have to do is you have to open your terminal just go here and click here and then you have to type out here stream lit run app.py since app.py is my file name that's why i am writing as app.py you can see that this is our streamlit app let's wait till it gets loaded okay so it is showing an error in the line 14 okay guys i think i have got the error this is the one i have typed uh, i have to type error just save this one and run your program again so you can see that this is running and this is showing the uh, you can see cases of your desired country you can also search for india here this these are the cases of india so that's all for this video guys now let's see you next time